it's Mint Model Horses, and you are lucky because Emma is here, here in my haul video, and it's not just going to be me alone. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of horses to show you. It's been like three weeks since Briarfest, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... Three um, weeks as of today, actually. <laughs> so, I'm a little uh, late to the game with the haul video, but you guys are finally going to get it. Yeah. So, let's start with the free stuff I got. So a bunch of you guys recognized us at Briarfest, and I mean, I'm and I already made a video on it, and we're so grateful. Um, a lot of you guys gave us free stuff. So um, a girl by the name of Ava gave me this Gigi Valentine to customize, so that was really cool. Um, another girl, I think her name was Anika? Yeah. Yeah, Anika, so. or Anika, um, gave both Emma and I these little mini Winnie uh, foals. I will just call them <laughs> mini Winnie stable mates. Yeah. On these mini mini folds, and they're just so cute. What, did you get a black one or a bay one? I think it's bay. bay. I think it's on the same mold, too. Okay, well, I got the little Palomino ones. Adorable. Um, a girl named Brooklyn, I believe. Her Instagram name is briar underscore gal underscore 15 or 5, something like that. I think it's 15. 15. Um, gave me this little Frisian stablemate, and he has two little broken ears. Poor baby. But she said that she wanted me to paint him, so. We'll try. We'll try our hardest. Um, I got these two free little uh, medallion things from the Maggie Bennett booth. If you wore a name tag, she gave you them, so both my mom and I had a name tag, so we got two. Um, that wasn't free. This was free, though. The girl who won the giveaway was so grateful, and she owns this, um, like, metal pressing company? Yeah. Like a, this is her like business laser. card. Yeah, it's really freaking cool. Um, yeah, metal art signs monogram home decor. So she made an Othello keychain wow. for me, and then a bluegrass bandit keychain for Emma, and they're they're so cool. Uh, mine lives up there with my little Othello army. They're not a little army; they're a huge army. Okay, so next I'm going to show the Briarfest exclusive models, I guess, or the horses I got at the horse park. So this is Sarge. He's the little El Barozo guy. Um, he looks black. He's not, but <laughs> uh, yeah, that's cool. Someone had a unicorn one. Yeah, of I saw a bunch of unicorn ones. Yeah, so now I'm really annoyed that I didn't look through and find a unicorn yeah. one too, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I'll get over it. Um, then my last purchase at the park, I ran up to go get a Hearts of Fire resin from Shanta, and they were all gone, so I ran over to Maggie Bennett's booth and grabbed this guy. I think his name is Donner. He's really cute. Yeah, she sculpted two of them. One was Donner and one was Blitzen, so I'm not sure which was which. Um, I also got Oliver, obviously. You have all seen Oliver, so I'm not gonna spend too much time boring you guys with him, but yeah, he's really pretty. I need to like... <laughs> Figure out where I'm gonna put horses so that I can continue to film this. Um, I also got the commemorative pack of stablemates because this is just so cute, guys. Um, I really like this mold and I really like this mold, so I had to get them. Um, and then some of these horses in the stablemate form look a lot cooler than their traditionals. So yeah, I had to I had to get them. They're very cool. And I've been to every Briarfest since 2013, so I've seen most of these celebration horses and have all of them except for Pecos, so. They all have their mini me's now, yay! Um, okay, another Briarfest exclusive horse. I ended up winning two Glossy Harleys, and I only have one left, and he's still in the box. But he's really glossy and pretty. Show them their feet. The he's feet! so cute. Yes, oh god. The feet are so cute. And then he also has this, like... Well, didn't they stamp them this year because people were faking the glossies? Yeah, so you can see he is stamped. I don't think my Brunello or yeah, this is the first year that they stamped, snapped, stamped. <laughs> um, and then he has this little like mulling on his face. <laughs> so cute. Uh, yeah, still unsure what to do, but he's in the box for now. He'll be fine. Um, here, give this to Emma. <laughs> Figure out something to do. Um, I only came home with one special run this year. My mom and I had pretty bad luck in the special run line, but I did manage to pull a glossy surprise horse, so that was really fun. It was kind of weird because their gloss is so thin. I pulled them out of the bag and I was like, what? 
And I had to go up to someone and be like, is this glossy? And she was like, yeah, I think so. So, I think he's glossy. We had matte ones, and he looked glossier than the matte ones, so that's fun. Okay, moving on to my Clarion purchases and also things that I got after Briarfest. This was actually my first buy of Briarfest. Our room wasn't ready, so my mom and I were sitting in the car for three hours before we could get in. So my mom wait waited in the car, and then I went into a couple rooms, and I found this guy for an amazing price, so I had to get him. Very impulsive. I was texting Emma while I was doing it. Um, the lady that etched him, her initials are VS, I think. Um, I think her name is Vicky something. But she just does really cool work, and her stuff is always in the covered arena. And I've always wanted something by her, and this guy was really cheap. And on my favorite mold, so it's a win. Uh, then this guy was kind of a weird purchase. I don't know. My purchases were really strange this year. I got like a few things that I've never really looked at before and then a few nicer things. But this is Buckaroo. He's the 2013 Briarfest special run. Um, I've always kind of liked him and then his price went way down after Briarfest 2013. So I was walking around with Emma and Brooke and I saw one and I was like, guys, I'm going to get this pony this weekend. And they're like, do it. I was like, no, I can find one for cheaper. And the next room I walked into, he was half the price from the other room. So that's just Briarfest for you. Story of the Clarion. Yeah, story of the Clarion. Sometimes you gotta wait, but sometimes you just gotta pull the trigger. You never know. Um, this guy was an impulsive buy also. I fell in love with Briar's old school Appaloosas at Briarfest this year. And this room was just full of um, Appaloosas and Native American costumes. And I walked in there a few times, and the last time I walked in there, I was like, okay, I gotta get something from these ladies. They were just really nice. And I also have an Appaloosa, so I'm insanely biased. So cute. Um, I also got Amigo. This is a Vintage Club Adios. I'm falling in love with the Adios mold. And this... The Vintage Club, there are a few Vintage Club horses I really want, but I just have to restrain myself from getting them because you can't really show them. <laughs> I mean, I think that kind of is the point, maybe? I'm not really sure, but he's really cool and I've been wanting him for a while now, so I finally got him. Obviously, because he's in my haul video. <laughs> um, this guy is the JCPenney Andalusian Stallion. And I bought him Thursday night, so I bought him before I knew what the surprise horses were. And this is the past three years of Briarfest, oh I have been saying, I will not come home from Briarfest until I have this horse. And for the past three years, I've been coming home from Briarfest without this horse. And I almost did it last year, but they were all too expensive. See? Briarfest Clarion. You just, sometimes you gotta wait. And, um... Yeah, so I finally got him this year. I walked into the room, saw him, picked him up, bought him. He just has this, like, weird black mark on his face. Um, now I can come home from Briarfest. Because I have him. Now I just need that Dapple Grey Peruvian Paso. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. I need my Dapple Grey Peruvian Paso, and then Cabrizo in my Peruvian Paso Congo will be finished. Then this guy was also a very weird buy. Um, I saw one in a room... And he was $140, and I was like, wow, this horse is really pretty. I love this Appaloosa thing that Briar does. And then I was like, wow, that price is not very pretty. So I walked out of the room, and later in the Clarion, I found one for 40 so I bought him. And all the other ones I was seeing in the Clarion were around $100. So I was like, okay, what's going on? And I went on eBay, and there was one new in box for 50 and he wasn't selling, so... Um, I mean, I still got a good price for him. He was less than the one new in box, and I don't want one new in box anyways, but sometimes the Clarion prices are weird, and I just cannot explain them, but this guy is so cute, and I love his little crooked head. I have two of them. They're just the sassiest little things. Um, okay, we'll go to this. This is Leonardo. I bought him at the swap meet. I think he was the only thing I bought at the swap meet this year. I've had pretty good luck at the swap meet the past three years. I got a Yasmin last year and then a Magnifico a couple years ago. 
But when I left the room, I was going shopping with Emma and Brooke, and I told my mom I was coming back with a Leonardo. Because if you guys have seen my hair, I'm pretty much a lion. And I just vibe with lions. I really like them. So I was willing to spend what I was seeing him in the Clarion for, and then I found him for $100 less at the swap meet. So, again, that's the Clarion for you. If this haul doesn't explain the Clarion perfectly, I don't know what does. Um, then my last purchase at the Clarion for Briarfest was Del Fuego. He is a connoisseur model, and he is one of the proven passes that I thought I would never get, but I found him for a really cheap price. He was like $50 less than the lowest one I've ever seen. And he's LSQ, he just didn't come with his COA or his bag, which is fine because he's authentic, so I don't really care. And he's just really pretty and really nicely done. He was the horse that I was not thinking I would come home with. Honestly, none of these horses are horses I thought I'd come home with. Maybe Amigo, but him, I was like, I'm probably not going to come home with that Andalusian again this year. Um, okay, so then these are like my after Briarfest purchases. This is kind of weird, but if you watched Emma's video, she said that we worked out a trade. It was really complicated. That's the truth. She wasn't lying. It was really complicated, but out of it, I got a Cherry Creek, who I already have, but one of them will be painted. And a Poker Joe, who I've been wanting forever, but when Emma got her Poker Joe, I was like, it's okay. I'll just own Poker Joe vicariously through Emma. You do. do you want to take him out? No, just take him back in. No, okay. I was like, oh my gosh, it's making so much noise. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I have a Poker Joe for my Adios Kanga. I have seven of them now, so that's really exciting. Um, then, last night, I found an ad on Facebook Marketplace selling 10 briars for $50. Um, it also came with a winter, the Othello, but he's in the other room getting customized, so I'm, you're not going to see him. Uh, but it came with a Pam. A Pam? Yes. A Pam. <laughs> um, she's actually in pretty nice condition, so I think I'm going to keep her OF. I don't. I just don't think I could bring myself to paint a Pam. Um, an O'Leary's Irish Diamond, who is very much body, and I have an O'Leary's Irish Diamond already, so he'll be painted. And then in here I have a yearling thing. Quarter horse yearling. Its eyes are so far up on its head. It's a little freaky. Um, but if you just ignore the eyes, it's fine. <laughs> um, it came with a nursing fool, a running fool, this little guy, who is the son of this, who is probably one of my favorite horses from this box. I <laughs> love this mold so much. My first horse is on that mold, and she's in a shadow box, so obviously I love this mold. So now she has a sister. Look how cute. Look how lumpy. <laughs> I love this mold. Um, it came with a bluegrass bandit, which I thought was kind of ironic that it came with... An Othello and a bluegrass bandit. Yeah, and um, this guy, who's Bella's favorite oh, yeah. mold. So, yeah. Emma's gonna try and get me to paint it like her old Rocky Mountain horse that she had. And then this horse, who... I don't know the Is name of this Is it a Seastar? No, because Seastar has that short neck. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know who this is, but he's very, very cute. His ju it's just, I think his paint job is what makes him look really ugly. Like, what is going on with his nose? I don't really know. Um, but yeah, if it wasn't for the paint job, he'd be it super cute. It looks like, cute. you know how donkeys have, like... Like, if you look oh, at Ethel, yeah. it looks like that. Yeah. His paint job is ugly, but his mold is cute, so I'm excited to save him. Yeah! Okay! Well, that was my Briarfest haul. What do you think, Emma? It was oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, wait, yeah. Um, okay, last thing of Briarfest. I think the person who we got this from follows me on Instagram. This! <laughs> this guy. Okay, so Emma, Brooke, and I were walking around the Clarion, and we see this bright yellow poster outside someone's room, and I walk up and I see this, and I was like, oh my god, what the heck. This is Crispin. It says, 
After standing too close to the campfire, Crispin fell in, was rescued, and taken to the hospital. His life was saved, but his magical unicorn horn was lost. He's looking for a new home where he can be safe with people who don't like campfires. Ten dollar be home if we feed So we took him. We took Crispin. Oh my gosh, this is making your camera weird. Yeah, look at him. how funny. <laughs> look at how weird. He will be Bob's friend. <laughs> yeah, he will be. He will be our channel's mascot along with Bob. This is just the funniest thing. Briar can't copyright a picture of this, right? No. So oh my God. we make Crispin stickers. <laughs> So funny. Yeah, okay, so now that... Imagine photoshopping was... that. Oh my god. <laughs> You'd have to go around like every little... Every little bump. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Look at him. He's hiding his face. It's so sad. Alright, guys. We hope to see you in another video soon. I hope you enjoyed my haul. There's an overview. Bye!